Mitch Chance 496 here with another uh, comparison video. This time I'm doing my Avengers Hulk comparison. So I'm going to be start doing these comparisons. Um, I have pretty much every single Avenger in every single scale, except for the Mini Mates Captain America and Thor, and the 3 quarter inch Black Widow. Considering Black Widow, there's only going to be the Mini Mates one and 3 quarter inch one. Even when I get her, I'm still not going to do a comparison. But um, as far as Hulk and Iron Man and Hawkeye, I have all of their four scales and as far as Thor and Captain America I have the the three biggest scales so I probably just I'm not gonna pick out that mini mates pack and just um, do their comparisons just with the three but anyway here's Thor's comparison I'm um, really what I'm just gonna be talking about is the differences in toys what's more accurate which one's better you know all that kind of stuff so as you can see here we've got um, Let's just start off with the pants color. As you can see, the pants color is very different in every scale. There is not two scales that the pants color is exactly the same. As far as the 3 quarter inch Hulk, this one um, is in totally tan pants, which is totally different from everybody else. And the tan pants is what he wears the first time that he hulks out on the uh, helicopter, or hair, what is it called? Um, something, the, the big ship in the sky. That's when he hulks out, he's wearing those tan pants. Then he falls to the ground, and then when he comes to the final battle, he's wearing more of a grayish, purplish, or just more of a purplish, but not totally purple. Not like the old classic Hulk with the big purple pants, it's more of a muted purple. And uh, now we get a Mini Mates one that is has that kind of purple. Since he's small, I can bring him up here. So it's it's a very gray with a little bit of purple on it. Then we go to this one, which is very gray with a little bit more purple. And then we go to this one, which is purple with a little bit of gray. So it's very interesting, the different uh, variations. Um, I have to say, which one's more accurate? Not talking about him, just talking about the purple pants ones. I think that these darker purple is the more accurate one. I could be a little wrong. It could be in between these two because... I'm not 100% sure. As far as the uh, hair of them all, um, the uh, Mini Mates and uh, Select both have just totally black hair. The Synthic Quarter Inch one has a black hair with a little bit of green highlighting. The um, Hasbro 6 Inch one has black hair with green highlighting. It's uh, the only one that has the green highlighting. I don't think that it's quite movie accurate. It's kind of cool. I kind of like it, but I think that there's the regular black hair is more what he had in the movie. Um, as far as like their chest and stuff, as you can see here, I'm, I'm not going to talk about this one because the mini mate's too hard to compare, but he's just got, he's got the detailing of the muscles, no shading, no uh, real veins in this one. Over here you got the detailing of the muscles, no shading, a uh, few veins, but nothing too crazy. Over here you've got a nice detailed um, of the... Um, muscles with shading with veins just it absolutely looks great the select one the body sculpt is just really nice as far as their hands the mini mates one has them two open hands the mini uh, the uh, three quarter inch one has a closed hand open hand so does the has a rolling closed hand open hand and then you get the select one that has the two fists i definitely think the two fists is better two fists is really the hulk i mean hulk and bane i just want every single version of them just to have the two fists because they are the ones they just punch people so I really um, I like that over here as far as their toenails they're all just green except for the select one that has actually black toenails which is kind of neat um, as far as the pants the ripping at the end this one this one's ripped, ripping is just drawn on this one is sculpted on this one is actually hanging off in more of a soft rubber plastic really cool very different and this one is sculpted on but is kind of flaring out of it a little bit but you can't bend it at all so overall I really like this torn pants look is very cool. Um, overall, my the, definitely the best one is going to be the Select Hulk. So most expensive one, and uh, you really get more for your money because of how huge he is. He is the only Hulk that's actually in scale with uh, his own toy line. Um, I mean, the Mini Mates one is definitely not on scale. It's a little bit bigger, but it's definitely not on scale. The 3 quarter inch one is bigger, but definitely not on scale. Um, the Hasbro uh, one is... A, bigger than the other figures, just definitely not in scale. The uh, select one is the one that's in scale with the selects, which is just great. Overall, the select talk is definitely the better, better one. But if you're not into the big figures, the 3 quarter inch one is really good. I have to say, I am not too into this one. This is the one that everybody's freaking out about, paying a bunch of money online, and I have to say, not my favorite one. Uh, I think that his joints just really kind of suck. His, his, from the knees down, they kind of bow out his legs. It makes 
makes him really hard to stand. I think that there's you can't really put his arms closer to his body because of the way the muscles and the uh, joints are sculpted. I just have a lot of problems with this one. So I know that everybody's freaking out about it. Everybody wants it. Um, but I'm just not into it and just not my favorite. Uh, he has great articulation, though, but he's got just a little bit more articulation than this guy has. So this guy, you pretty much get everything. The only thing that he has is a, um, a wrist hinge. This is the only one that that one's missing. As for the thin three quarter inch one, he's very cool. He definitely goes with thin three quarter inch figures. Uh, he doesn't have great articulation, but that's just because of the thin three quarter inch one. And the mini eight one is really cool. Um, There's nothing too special. He does come with two faces, which is kind of nice. And uh, if you're into mini mates, the Hulk one's awesome. But uh, as far as just a really great figure, I'm going to have to say that you go with either the select one if you like the big figures, or if you go for the thin three quarter inch one if you're not into those big figures. I'm, I don't like this one very much. I mean, if this one was super common, I'd say just to pass on it probably, but uh, because it's very rare if we see it, jump on it. So, yeah. So that's just my opinion. I know a lot of people like this Hulk. I'm not too into it. So there you go. So that's my uh, comparison video of the uh, Diamond Select Hulk, Hasbro 6-inch exclusive Hulk, uh, 3 quarter inch Hulk, and the Mini Mates Hulk. Thanks for watching.